Patriots, welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Vani Osan. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Monday, February 1st, 2021. Patriots, RPTV is including a special segment for the month of February called Black History Spotlight. This segment will feature historical figures and moments that shape Black history. Now let's go to Aiden to see what we're spotlighting today. Thank you, Vani. Malcolm X was an African-American minister and civil rights activist. He was best known for his time spent as a vocal spokesman for the equality and unity of blacks as brothers and sisters. He was a very intellectual individual whose most famous quote is, I am for truth no matter who tells it. I am for justice no matter who it's for or against. I leave you with the following words. We declare our right to this earth to being human, to be respected as a human by any means necessary. Now let's go to Chris for the sports highlight. Thank you, Aiden. Today's sports highlights are presented to you by the Patriots. A man climbs a Hong Kong skyscraper in a wheelchair. Last Saturday, Lai Chi Wai used a rope system to pull himself up over 820 feet along the side of a skyscraper in Hong Kong. Before 2011, Mr. Lai was a world-famous rock climber. He was ranked 8th in the world and had won the Asian Rock Climbing Championship four times. He also taught others how to climb. That ended 10 years ago when Mr. Lai was involved in a car crash. The accident left him paralyzed from the waist down, unable to move his legs. Since then, he's needed to use a wheelchair to get around. Mr. Lai said climbing Lion Rock again made him realize that he could still climb successfully, even if he couldn't do it in the same way he had in the past. Now let's go to Noah to see what's for lunch. Today's lunch is here sandwiches, veggie juice, corn, dust peaches, and milk. Bon appetit! Now let's go to Sonia for our National Week segment. Thank you, Noah. Good morning, Patriots. This week is National Snow Sculpting Week, where we give up recognition to making masterpieces with fluffy ice. This can stretch from the basics, like making snowmen, to making wolves, to making Star Wars characters, or even big swans. There are even competitions for snow sculpting. The U.S. National Snow Sculpting Competition has been held for over 20 years in Wisconsin. This provides a beautiful site for those that live and visit there. Seems pretty cool if you ask me. Happy National Snow Sculpting Week. Let's go back to Vani. Thank you, Sonia. Scholars, the February Are you Ready Challenge begins today, February 1st. This time, the challenge will be focused on ELA only. Pass 30 ELA Are Ready lessons between February 1st and February 26th to be a part of the outrageous sub party. This challenge starts now. And now, Patriots, let's check in with our drama teacher, Miss Hart, as she officially kicks off Black History Month. Good morning to my beautiful Renaissance Charter School at Pines family. I am so excited to kick off Black History Month as your chairwoman this year with RPTV. We have a lot of amazing things planned. Pay attention to the calendar. There are many activities that both students and teachers can participate in. If you don't know, the purpose of Black History Month is to celebrate, to celebrate the achievements of African-Americans and their contributions to this country. But more importantly for us as a group, as a unit, to be inclusive, to show love, to spread love, no matter race, color, or creed, and to make sure that we are celebrating in unity, united as one Pines family all month long. February, we kicking it off. Thank you, Miss Hart. Tomorrow we will be continuing celebrating Black history by reading a book that celebrates Black history. This can be done with your teacher in class or you can read one on your own. Tune in every day to find out what fun activity or dress down will be going on during the month of February. Happy reading! Now let's see what the weather is going to be like today with David. Thank you, Bonnie. Today's weather in Pembroke Pines, Florida is forecast to be 76 degrees Fahrenheit and scattered thunderstorms. It's a good idea to stay inside with this cold, wet weather. Now let's go to Samuel for the joke of the day. Thank you, David. And here's today's joke of the day. 
Why don't I get along with car keys? Because they're always starting something. Now let's go back to Bonnie. Thank you, Samuel, for the excellent joke. And now let's check in with Solomon for today's birthdays. Thanks, Bonnie. Today's birthday boys and girls are Savannah Matthews, Elijah Velasquez, Aiden Alvarez, and Noah Severe. Happy birthday! Now let's go back to Vonnie. Thank you, Solomon. Patriots, don't forget your pet's expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Miss Samuel, Miss E.M. Danquat, Miss Moraz, Miss Newton, Miss Stone, Miss Anaya, Miss Julian, and Miss Velez. You had the correct answer to Friday's riddle, which was Samuel was out for a walk and it started to rain. He did not have an umbrella and wasn't wearing a hat. His clothes were soaked, yet not a single hair on his head got wet. How could this be? The correct answer to the riddle was, he was bald. Now for today's riddle. Two fathers and two sons go fishing together in the same boat. They all catch a fish, but the total catch for the day is three fish. How is this possible? Again, two fathers and two sons go fishing together in the same boat. They all catch a fish, but the total num catch for the day is three fish. How is that possible? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced the following day. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a marvelous Monday. And don't forget, remember, reunite, rise, have a great day!